the day after prom and I'm making a video. Welcome to my life. Yo guys, what is going on? It is Ippy. Welcome to today's video. Now today guys, I have some incredible transfers. Yes, I'm doing a transfer video. Don't ask questions. Uh, so obviously, uh, I made a video a few days back whilst I was on holiday. There was shit editing. I am sorry for that. It was kind of a bit of a rushed video. Um, I didn't have a lot of time to kind of sort it out. Um, but yeah, so I do apologize for the shit editing, but obviously, you know, Alex Neal, he has come to Preston, so that should be good. Uh, anyway, so on to the main gist of today is the big transfers. Now, these are all the, the two I'm going to be talking about today are huge confirmed transfers. So, uh, that have only happened like this week. I'm also, I've also got one rumor. Uh, so yeah, L let's just see how this goes, eh? Let's, uh, let's get right into this. So to start off today then, um, Alexandra Lacazette. Now I'm sure you've all, I'm sure that all of you watching this video, all of you that enjoy football at least, uh, will know that Alexandra Lacazette has moved from Lyon to Arsenal. And yeah, so I, I can't remember what the, something like, I've not actually looked at the full report, so I'm not sure what the um, transfer fee was. I'm not sure it's been released yet, so I'm not sure it's going to be released at all. But he has gone to Arsenal, and that'll be interesting. He will tear up the fences next season, I reckon, with his, his dribbling ability, um, his power, his pace. He will destroy the Premier League next season. He's basically, he is kind of Lukaku, in, in a way, you know, he's he's a kind of the same sort of player as Lukaku. Uh, but uh, I'd love to see him in the Premier League season year and see what he can do. Um, among, among a lot of other players, though, who uh, are looking like they could do some damage in the Prem as well. But, yeah, uh, basically Lacazette has gone to Arsenal. Now, I was hearing this the other day, apparently, well, today actually, apparently, Manchester United have actually agreed a deal with Everton, so it was around 75 million, to sign Romelu, I can never pronounce his first name, tell me if I butcher it, Romelu Lukaku, I think I've pronounced that right. Um, he has basically, yeah, he's, the rumour is he has actually gone to United uh, as a replacement for Ibra, and can I just say, him and Rashford, in the same starting eleven, <sighs> the Premier League's fucked. <laughs> I mean, wow, wow, absolutely wow. That is, I mean, ugh, <laughs> the money United are spending because they want other players as well. Um, I mean, I can't remember who else they wanted, but yeah, they're they're one of the. That's one of the big things for United uh, this summer. Apparently, they're reportedly wanting Nine Golan. I don't think he'll go. But yeah, so basically, Lukaku is basically going to Manchester United. Now we move on to the next transfer, which uh, does kind of leave me fearful. John Terry. That's right, JT, one of the one of the greatest English defenders ever, has moved to Aston Villa. I, to, I was very surprised when I found out he was moving to Aston Villa. It was just like, was like why would you move to Villa? You're an ex, you're an ex England international. You are regarded as one of the greatest English defenders, and yet you're going to Villa. No. No. <laughs> why? Just why would you go to Villa? Well, I don't understand that. That's just so weird. But yeah, JT's gone to Villa. And I don't know whether you've heard about this as well, but the day after Grayson um, was in charge, uh, took the helm at Sunderland, guess who he signed? Aiden fucking McGeady. <sighs> uh, no. Now, did you really think I was going to make a transfer video and mention none of North End's transfers? Because if you were expecting that, then you're a dumb motherfucker. Because, <laughs> you know, I'm a Preston fan. I'm going to see them, aren't I? 
So yeah, um, in this window so far, North End have signed three players, maybe more, no, four. Four? Four, I think. Yeah, signed four players. We've signed, let me think, Sean, Mc Sean McGuire from Cork, Kevin O'Donnelly, is I can't remember, he's, he's a left back from Cork. Uh, who else, who was the other one we signed? Um, we've also signed Josh Harrop from Manchester United, who's supposed to be a McGeady type player. And uh, we've also signed Declan Rudd. Um, yeah, so Declan Rudd has, yeah, he's, he's joined us permanently. We had him a lot a few seasons back, he's a very good keeper. Um, I don't think he'll get in ahead of Maxwell though, that's, my, that's the only thing. Because Maxwell last season was phenomenal. So yeah. That's, uh, that's, but yeah, that's basically that for North End's transfers, they've made some decent ones, and, but the thing for me is I think we still need, um, more players, we need another player who's like McGeady, who can, you know, do magic, like, you know, basically wave his wand and do magic with the ball, um, at his feet, so, but, yeah, that's just my opinion, really, I think that's what Alex Neal needs to do now that he's coming, his first signing should be somebody who can attack, uh, we need another striker, really, because apparently Hugo could be on his way out as well, but yeah. So, guys, that is the end of today's video. Uh, I hope you did enjoy. Please slap a like, subscribe as well if you're new around here, because you know you want to see more of this shit. Uh, if you do, leave a comment. I don't really give a shit. I'm probably going to start doing this weekly or something, if there's, like, massive transfers. But, yeah, thank you guys for watching today's video. I will see you all later. Goodbye.